on that tender moment, Sam, can you pass your bouquet? Sam and Nick, can you face each other? Can you hold hands? Look into each other's eyes lovingly. <laughs> and as you're looking in, into each other's eyes lovingly, I now invite you to declare your love and your vows to one another. Sam and Nick, before you were joined in marriage in my presence and in the presence of all of our wonderful witnesses here today in this beautiful garden, I am to remind you both of the solemn and the binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. Six Marriage style. according to law here in Australia is the union of a man and a woman to the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. So what that legal mumbo jumbo means, you're stuck with each other. <laughs> <laughs> so Nicholas, do you take Samantha today to be your lawful wife? I do. And Nicholas, will you love and comfort Samantha? I will. Do you promise to honour her, to keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keep only unto Sam as long as you both shall live? I do. Okay. Samantha, do you take Nicholas today to be your lawful husband? I do. And will you love and trust him, respect him throughout your lives together? I will. Thank you, Sam. And Samantha? Most importantly, will you promise to tolerate his love for football, wrestling, gambling, PlayStation, golf, fishing, motorbike riding and cricket for, long, for as long as you both shall live? I will. <laughs> I'm tired after all that. <laughs> You're a busy boy. <laughs> now we've come to the marriage ceremony where you're going to say your vows to one another. Before you do that, I want you to remember that love, which is why you are here today, which is rooted in faith, trust and acceptance, will be the foundation of your relationship and your marriage with each other. If you're able to keep your vows, you stay, you stay here today to one another. Out of your desire to love and be loved, then your life will have joy in it. Your home will be a place in which you both find direction for your growth, freedom for one another, and responsibility for your love. So I'd now like you to declare your vows to one another. So Nicholas, say your, declare your vows to Sam. I'll just repeat after me. Mm -hmm. I call upon the persons. I call upon the persons here present to witness. Here present to witness that I, Nicholas, that I, Nicholas, take you, Samantha, take you, Samantha, to be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Well done. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> that was hard that last bit. Yeah. <laughs> I call upon the person. I call upon the person here present to witness. Here present to witness. That I, Samantha. That I, Samantha. Take you, Nicholas. Take you, Nicholas. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Well done. Give her a round of applause. This is the part of the ceremony I'm always nervous about, because I have to invite one of these gentlemen to bring the wedding ring over. But then oh, I found out Ashton had the ring. Yeah. And I knew it'd be okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ashton. So if you take each wedding ring out, and I want you to hand it to Samantha and me. And that one's. So that goes to Sam. Thank you. Holding the right hand, Sam. That goes to Nicholas, and you're holding his left hand. Thanks, mate. Holding the left hand. Wonderful. Holding my left or right Ashton. hand? Back here. Great job. Round of applause. Hold it back. I'm not putting all that. Yeah. <laughs> now, Nicholas, as you're holding Samantha's hand, and you're holding the ring, which is a visible sign of your commitment in marriage, and you're about to put it on Samantha's hand, I want you to look into her eyes 
and say to her, Samantha, wear this ring. Samantha, wear this ring. And think of me. And think of me. I know I will love you always. I know I will love you always. Oh, watch the nail. <laughs> Tilt it, thank you. <laughs> Samantha, take Nick's ring. And as you're holding the ring, which is your, which is a visible sign of your commitment in marriage, please look into Nicholas's eyes and say to him, Nicholas, wear this wedding ring. Nicholas, wear this wedding ring. And think of me. And think of me. And know that I will love you always. And know that I will love you always. That's all right. <laughs> now the wedding ring is now in your hands. Serve as a symbol of the vows you've just spoken to one another today. The rings are an outward sign of your inner love that will bind you both together in marriage. The wedding ring is without edge, is without seam, has no beginning and has no end. And it will symbolise the perfection of your love we all hope will never ever end. So friends and family, we've all witnessed the promises made by this loving couple, Nicholas and Samantha, that they shall live and marry from today. They have taken their vows and exchanged those beautiful wedding rings. But most importantly, we have witnessed their promise to face their lives together in marriage. Cold. Samantha and Nicholas, by virtue of the authority up. vested in me, I pronounce you to be husband and wife. Congratulations. So Nick, kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> I'm not looking at you. I think they should kiss again. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Too late. I the word week after that one. I'm going to invite Samantha to kiss to kiss Nicholas because girls do it so much better, isn't that right, ladies? So why don't you lean in and give your yeah. husband a tender kiss? Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough kissing now. Sorry again. <laughs> Not all about the bloody kiss, shut up. <laughs> Brad told me his son my old name. Do you have a new son? No, that's why I was happy you said that. No, if you did, you can do that there. But Lynn and I, we just want the same signatures. Okay. Great. Next time.